Okay, for now, we will be discussing the exponential notation. Okay, now we will be discussing the definition of our exponential notation. Exponential notation involves writing certain mathematical equations in a simpler form. An expression written with exponential notation will be described how many times to, to multiply a number to itself. It is an easier way to write what could be a longer complicated multiplication problem. For example, we have this simple equation. We have 3 raised to the power of 5 equals 243. Okay, so your number 3 will be the base or your coefficient and then your number 5 will be the exponent and then the final answer will be 243. This is how you are going to write your solution. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals 243 because again, when you are to write the exponential notations, you have to multiply the coefficient or the base number by itself depending on the exponent. Like for example, we have 3 raised to the power of 5. So we have to multiply 3 by itself 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the answer will be 200. Okay, another example, we have 4 raised to the power of 5. Your number 4 is the base or your coefficient and then your number 5 is the exponent. In the exponent, we will identify how many times the number will be multiplied to itself. Okay, like for example, we have 4 raised to the power of 5. So 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 what will be the answer? The, the answer would be 1,024. Okay. Again, the final answer would be 1,024. Because you are to multiply number 4 by itself 5 times. Okay. This is how you are going to write the exponent. Okay, this will be the solution. You have 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 equals to 1020. So here are some other examples of our exponential notation. We have here the exponential form. We have 2 raised to the power of 2. We have the factor form 2 times 2. And the standard form or the answer would be 4. And then so on and so forth. Okay, for this slide, we have the exponential notation, and as you can see there, you also have the scientific notation. So, what will be the difference between exponential notation and scientific notation? Okay, according to my research, we have here www.mathworksheetscenter.com. It says here, since math is the new universal language, math is used every day for countless different reasons okay but scientists and engineers work with very large and very small numbers all the time the calculations that scientists and engineers perform every day require greater precisions or accuracy than two places to the right of the decimal point that the rest of us use every day in order to be accurate in science and engineering, this often means using many digits to the right of the decimal point. Okay. Writing numbers based upon the powers of 10 is called exponential notation because exponential notation is used a great deal by scientists. It is also called a scientific notation. Again, exponential notation and scientific notation are two names for the same thing. Okay, so anyway, let's proceed. As you can see there, you have 2.5 times 10 raised to the power of 5. Again, 2.5 will be your base number or your coefficient. And then your exponent 
or your number 5 will be the exponent. Your exponent represents the number of places that the decimal point has to be moved. Okay, so like for example, you have 2.5 times 10 raised to the power of 5. So since you have a positive 5, you are to write 2.5 to 250,000. Okay, from this point, from this point of 2.5, then you are to count 5 times to the right. Okay, making it 250,000. Okay, so that is how you are going to write a scientific notation. So you also have here 121 can be written as 1.21 times 10 raised to the power of 2. And then you have 1,210 as 1.21 times 10 raised to the power of 3. And you have 1,210,000 1, as 1.21 times 10 raised to the power of 6 okay so basically your exponent exponents will be based on the number of decimal places that you are going to move okay okay so now we will have to convert the exponential notation to a decimal notation so like for example we have 3.25 times 10 raised to the power of 9 since 9 is a positive number then it indicates that your decimal point should be moved to the right okay so from 3.25 we have 3 point there so we will count 9 times to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. That's why we have an addition of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 zeros. Okay, so uh, for our 4 times 10 raised to the power of negative 7, since the exponent is negative, we are going to move. The, expon uh, the decimal point to the left, okay? As what I have told you, if we have a whole number, it is expected that the decimal point of a whole number is at the right of the number, okay? So, it should be written as 4 point, okay? Since our, um, our exponential notation indicates um, the movement of our decimal point, point then we are to move from the right to the left so we count seven times to the left so we have 0 0.00000004 okay so that is how you look at the uh, conversion of our exponential notation to decimal notation okay so again if you have a positive exponent then you are to move a decimal point to the right but if you have a negative exponent then you are to move the decimal point to the left so here's another set of um, slide in which you will see here the conversion of our exponential form to standard form. Okay, so like for example, we have 1.9 times 10 raised to the power of 4. Since this is a positive 4, then we are to move the decimal point 4 times to the right. So we will get 19,000. Okay, so if you can see there, you have at the bottom number, you have there 1.9 times 10 to the negative 4. So you have 0 0.00019. Since your, um, your decimal point has to be moved to the left 4 times. Since your number is carrying, uh, your exponent is carrying a negative sign. So um, below this, the, at the bottom box, to your left, you have their positive exponent indicates that the decimal point should be moved to the right. Okay, so like for example, we have 1.9 times 10 raised to the power of 4. Since this is a positive 4, then you move the decimal point to the right. Okay, so for the negative, 
exponent, it indicates that the decimal point should be moved to the left. So you have 1.9 times 10 to the negative 4. Since it is negative 4, then you are to move your decimal point to the left. Okay, making it 0 0.00019. Okay, so here's another conversion. We have converting the standard form to an exponential form. Okay, so it is different from your left. Um, it is a different uh, form to your left. Okay, so you have here a whole number or the the standard form, which is 19,000, we are to convert this to its exponential form. Okay, so if you're going to convert this, 19,000, it will make the number, the exponential form, 1.9 times 10 to the power of 4. Okay. Moving the decimal point from your right to left, it should carry a positive sign. Okay, so as you look at here, you have 19,000. Since you have a whole number, where can you see the decimal point? Again, you will see at the end of the number. So for 19,000, you have there at the right. Okay, so what are you going to do? You are going to move the decimal point to the left four times and when you're moving the decimal point to the left you're moving from right to left it should carry again the positive sign so you will get 1.9 times 10 raised to the power of 4 another example we have 0 0.00019 um, the exponential form will be 1.9 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, so when you move the decimal point to the right, it should carry a negative sign. Okay, so here's your example 0 0.00019. You're moving the decimal point from left to right, it carries a negative sign. Okay, so please do study and understand this. Line. Okay, so another example we have in multiplication of exponential notations, then the exponents are added. Like for example, we have 10 raised to the power of 2 times 10 raised to the power of 4. So what are you going to do? You copy the base number and then add the exponents. 2 plus 4 is 6. So this will become 10 raised to the power of 6. Okay. Here's another example at the bottom one. You have example one. So 2.5 times 10 raised to the power of 2 and then 2.5 times 10 raised to the power of 4. What are you going to do with your base numbers? You are to multiply 2.5 times 2.5. Then you will get 6.25 and then copy times 10 raised to the power of 2 plus 4. Again, what will you do with the exponents? If you have, you will do it in multiplication, you are to add the exponent, okay? 2 plus 4 equals 6. So you will have 6.25 times 10 raised to the power of 6. Or if I will be asking you to extract that exponent, then you will have 6,250,000, okay? Do you understand? I hope you understand this. Okay, another example, we have 5.4 times 10 raised to the power of 2 and 4.5 times 10 raised to the power of 3. What are you going to do? You are going to multiply 5.4 times 4.5. You will get 24.3 and then copy times 10. And what are you going to do with the exponents? You are to add 2 plus 3 plus 5. Okay, making it 24.3 times 10 raised to the power of 5. But as you can see there, you have 24.3 times 10 raised to the power of 5 plus 1 equals 6. Okay, so since you will be adding a... Uh, if you're going to use the exponent, exponential form... You have to 
replace your um your your coefficient numbers 9 below okay so it should not carry 24 so what are you going to do with your decimal point you are going to move to the left okay making it 2.43 so what are you going to do since you are moving from right to left you are carrying a positive sign that's why you have 5 plus 1 equals 6 making it 2.43 times 10 raised to the power of 6 or um, if i am asking you to extract the exponential form then you will have 2,430,000 okay so um, at your right you have there in division of exponential the exponents are subtracted okay so as you can see there you have 10 raised to the power of 2 divided by 10 raised to the power of 4 equals 10 2 minus 4 equals negative 2 okay so example number 3 please look at example number 3 you have there 7.5 times 10 raised to the power of 5 divided by 2.5 times 10 raised to the power of 3 so since you are going to divide 7.5 divided by 2.5 you will get an answer of 3.0 and copy 10 and subtract 5 from 3 Okay, again, what are you going to do with your exponent? You are to subtract your exponent. 5 minus 3 is 2, making it 3.0 times 10 raised to the power of 2 or 300. Okay, so for example, number 4, you have there 2.8 times 10 raised to the power of negative 2 divided by 8.0 times 10 raised to the power of negative 6 so 2.8 divided by 8.0 then you will get an answer of 0 0.35 times 10 you will again what are you going to do with your exponent you are to subtract your exponent since it carries a negative exponent then you will copy the negative exponent so negative 2 minus negative 6 so in the rules of operation, you will see there if um, a negative sign uh, or the subtraction sign is beside with a negative is beside to is sorry is beside with a negative sign, then you will make it it will uh, sorry it will become a positive sign. Okay, so it will become negative two plus. 6 so negative 2 plus 6 then you have positive 4 okay so you have it there um 0 0.35 times 10 we sort of power of 4 minus 1 equals 3 why because if you are to place a uh, coefficient or a base number on your exponential notation it should not carry a number below one that's why you are to move your decimal point from left to right okay so if you are moving your decimal point from left to right you're carrying a negative sign that's why you have there four minus one equals three okay so your final answer would be 3.5 times 10 raised to the power of 3 or 3500 okay so please do analyze this slide and study okay so for this you will have exercises please pause the video so that you will have time to answer this okay so you have there by the way this is and then the resources are from your pharmaceutical calculations 15 editions and the images are from google